finally got him in, Robin. Now, I am gonna do some paint apps on this particular one. I did get two copies of it, one which is supposed to stay in the box as the original. But one of the things I can already see is we're gonna need some paint apps on the boots, the gloves, and we're gonna try to find a different head swap for him. Definitely need some paint apps on the belt, bring out some of the detail, and we gotta bring the detail back to the cage. So we gotta have that yellow back in there. But he does come apart really easy. And this is what I wanted to show you. So, naturally the head, it's a twist and a slight pull, pops right off. The peg, no big deal, we're just popping back in. And we are gonna add some paint apps to the face. In other words, we're just gonna cover up that mask and bring in some different uh, shading to making it, uh, make it a little bit more animated. In any case, the legs are the easiest to remove. It's on a ball joint, very different from the other figures. And all you do is max out the position, pops right off. Same thing on the other, comes right off. So it doesn't break. A nice thing about that is if you take it to the limit, it's just gonna come off. It is not gonna break the ball joint or the actual socket. So in any case, we set those aside. And then the cape, well the cape itself is glued. The arms, we don't have to worry about removing those. They're actually in a different kind of a socket. It doesn't have those guards. Um, and we don't need to remove them for what we're gonna do here. But in any case, the cape itself, actually glued and all we gotta do is cut away at that glue to remove it. Now you can heat this up and it'll soften it but in any case you're still gonna have to cut it. we'll have to clean up but now we can paint the inside so there's that and here's our torso it's a couple glue spots we're gonna have to clean up no big deal in sanded we paint those spots but they're gonna be under that cape anyhow so there it is it's ready to go all we gotta do now is start painting anyway that's what I wanted to share with you today I hope you enjoy painting yours have a good day so we finally have the Robin completely taken apart. Here's our separate pieces, all of our components. Now each of these is a project all its own. So I'm only gonna record a few of these to be able to share them here on Facebook and then the rest of the entire project will be on YouTube. So we're gonna start by putting all of these aside. We still have to wait for the putty to dry on the back before we sand it anyhow. And I'm gonna start with the easiest parts, which are the legs and the arms. And once again, the legs on the black, we're gonna hit with the graphite because we want the light to pick up that much better. And we're only gonna use a dark black wash here to get into those crevices. We're gonna let that dry before we come in and hit it with a metallic green to give it more of a, um, a sheen on the boot. Then we're gonna finalize it with painting the details on the bottom of the boot. And I did look through some different references to find out what colors. And there's definitely a sole that we're gonna paint back in here. And of course, these metal brackets that are holding the boot together, I'm gonna put those into silver. Uh, we do not wanna have emerald or I should say a uh, 
a gloss sheen on this part of the leotard. That's gonna be a matte, but this will be a glossy. And then we'll finalize it with an actual uh, sealer. One will be matte, one will be glossy, depending on what we're gonna be painting. Uh, and of course, we're gonna avoid painting those, those laces because those turn out really, really nice. So anyhow, let's get started. <clears throat> Let me show you what paint I'll be using because a lot of them have been asking. So this is all acrylics. This is the old testers paint. It's no longer available. If you find it on, on uh, eBay, that'd be great if you could pick it up. rust bottom bottom out, so they canceled this product line. So you can go to an alternate like the Vallejo paints. So we're using white, yellow, red. This is a silver that we're gonna be mixing into this green to make it a metallic green. We're also gonna be blending it into some of the yellow to make it a gold. And of course, we've got also the black, which we will also probably end up adding some of the silver to it to make it a metallic black. So that's what we're going to use for our primary paints on our figure. We're gonna seal the parts that are gonna be flat with this clear coat acrylic, Model Masters. Again, part of testers, no longer in existence. You can replace it with any other sealant you may have. Uh, the Tamiya brand is also very nice, and of course, some Servaleo has it. And then the semi-gloss clear for the parts that are going to be that much glossier. Uh, again, Model Masters that you can replace with Vallejo paints or Tamiya paints. So let's put these aside and let's get started. So we're going to get started with the graphite once again. If you didn't see the video last time, this is it. This is a graphite we're gonna use. You can get it from any art store, and particularly I got this from Amazon. They don't sell it in smaller quantities, unfortunately. So if you got a friend you wanna jump in with, this will cost about 14 bucks. Uh, that's enough to divide uh, amongst several people. But if you've got it all to yourself, it's gonna last you a really, really long time, simply because you don't use a lot of it. A little bit goes such, such a long way. Of course, this is a powder. This is just standard graphite, the same thing that pencil laid is made, uh, made from. So it's just in the powder form. So um, we're gonna apply only to the black areas. Let me show you how that's gonna work. Definitely have your drop cloth down because it is going to be a mess. Now you can wear gloves. I'm not gonna wear gloves at this point because it's only gonna be this part of the black that I'm gonna be highlighting. And actually, let me get a second light so that you can see the sheen coming up. Otherwise, you won't see it. So I'm gonna have that light there. Actually, let's put it over here to get it out of my face. So we're just gonna dab into the powder, load up the brush really nice. Try not to sneeze. And you're just gonna brush it up. And right away, you can see the amount of light that it picks up just from being in that same spot. You turn it over, not a whole lot, but look what happens when you apply it. It really, really picks it up. So this, we're going to have to seal before we go on to anything else. Otherwise, it's gonna come off in our hands. Now, the nice thing about separating the entire figure like this is that you are able to manipulate it to get into the different areas or crevices without having to uh, mangle the entire figure. So just give it two coats and just let it drop off onto your drop cloth what it looks like from one to the other. You can see that it really picks up the, uh, the light that much better. Let's see if some of this excess. So we'll set that aside and go on to the next one. Now that we have a matching set. So see, it, it doesn't take that long just to give it a different tone. And if you've got an all black figure, like the uh, Flashpoint Batman, it really makes that gray look amazing. It'll give it a whole different vibe. 
There we go. That's it for the leg. Nothing else needed. Set that aside. Go on to the arm. The nice things we got a nice portion to hold on to. The same thing here. No paint needed at this point. And you can bend those joints to get into what you need to get into. There we go. Let's take a look at the difference. See how the light is being picked up? The reflection? All right, this one's ready. Let's move on to this one. Pretty simple. But just these little changes makes a big difference in the overall image. That's it, and I'm gonna apply it to the trunks even though these are not gonna be seen. These are so tiny. These are so far up into the torso. I'm probably gonna cut it down here to be able to put those back in easier because you can't see it anyhow. And I feel that this is preventing it from giving it uh, some more um, movement when you bend it forward. You see how it picks up that light? Of course, you're probably not gonna see this at all um, unless you're looking under the tunic. but just want to have a matching uniform. All right, that's it. So I'm going to seal these up and I'll be right back with another part of the painting. So we're going to go ahead and apply our clear coat and what I'm going to apply it with is this airbrush. This is the Badger 150, um, very inexpensive, about 150 bucks, but as far as airbrushes go, this is like an entry level brush. So um, it just has a medium head on it. It's a double action so I can push down for air and pull back for paint. Uh, for now, I'm just going to keep it on a simple use to be able to clear coat this. Now, I usually use a eyedropper. I don't have it at this time. I have to get another. And just uh, keeping it in a milky consistency, I've already uh, pre-thinned it and I keep it that way for a uh, quick use. But you don't need a whole lot. And I've already cleaned off my brush. And a little bit goes a long way. And the reason I'm using the airbrush instead of painting it with a brush is because it gives me a better coverage and I don't have to have the paint so thick to get into those uh, tight areas. So let's go ahead and paint it. So the one I'm using here is the flat clear coat because we don't want So leotard to be shiny, we just want it to pick up the light really well. Now the nice thing about having the airbrush is that you can just hit it with air, no paint, in this case no clear coat, and you can flash it dry so that you can then apply another clear coat over that. And this is going to be the basis for painting the rest of the colors. With any acrylics, you have to build up your color. You can't just apply it all at once. Let's hit it again with air. Let's hit it again with the clear coat. And as mentioned, it gives you nice, even coverage without having to go too thick. Hit it again with air. There we go, that's three coats on that black wash. Again, black acrylic, tester's paint. You can go with whatever brand you'd like to go with. I've already cleaned off my brush using the same brush. 
we got some clean water. And I'm gonna add some water first. Let's go with the center cup here. Just enough water. Put it all in there. All right. So we're gonna use a different brush, clean brush to transfer some of this black paint. But this is really tight sometimes. Clean them off. There we go. And we're just going to take one load and put it here. And that's obviously still too thin. Let's go with another one and drop it. And again, this is just a wash. It's not painting. And let's go ahead and clean off our cap. That otherwise we'd have to really load the brush down with paint to get in there and it could just be a mess. And by doing this we don't have to worry about the surface because it won't adhere to it. There's too much water. So only in the areas that are recessed. Now we're also gonna add it to the leotard. And watch that change color too. Airbrush because we don't want it to actually dry on the surface and cause a stain. Then we're just gonna tap it on the surface. You can see it coming up on the towel. Let's see, I'm gonna get away from the light so you can see it. You can already see how it's taken to some of the recessed areas. Can wipe it off the leg. That's where we have the, uh, the sealant off of that on that, so that it doesn't affect it. Now, let's just clean it up a bit. Hit it with the air now. I think I missed a spot. Okay. And we're just hitting it with the air, no paint. No circum. See what that looks like compared to the other one. Slight difference. We're gonna hit it again with another coat of paint or black wash once it dries. So let's go on to the next one. Same thing. Crevices.
that sit for just a second. Turn back in, clean side so we can see our progress. Start up here, work our way down. So, I've already proceeded to go ahead and mask off the areas I do not want any paint on. And I've already made a quick mix of the green, which is this, along with the silver, this one here. So it's uh, two uh, brush loads of the silver to uh, four of the, actually five of the green. And keeping it in a transparent form, simply because we don't want to eliminate the green that's under this. I've already tested it here on the knee. You can tell that the silver is there. Well, it's probably hard to tell on camera, but you'll be able to see once we paint the whole thing. But the green will cover up some of the black, but because the black is so oppressive, it's actually gonna come through as a darker green. So let's load up our airbrush with uh, this mix and spray it on here in three different coats. So we're gonna get rid of what we've got in here. consistency. This is not going to be a wash so it's not going to be as thin as the black that we applied. And this amount here should be just enough for the boots. We're not working on the arms, anything else, simply because each individual limb is its own project. So to get these two to be the same, we're working on them together. The arms will be a whole different project themselves. All right, so we got that loaded up here. Let's test it out. Make sure we've got some green paint coming out. All right. I went ahead and sprayed a matte clear coat on the actual interior to create a tooth for the paint to grab. I painted these before and the paint does come off it just if you paint it directly to the vinyl. So to create a barrier between the vinyl and the paint, the clear coat, I'm hoping that this time will adhere to it better and not crack and peel. So I haven't done this before, we'll see how it goes. We don't wanna paint the very top uh, on the inside because that's gonna uh, reattach to the figure. So we wanna paint the bottom that is visible or the front side visible. And then we'll add some uh, slightly yellowish uh, orange tones to the shadow areas. So let's get started. We're going in coats, not all at once. So you can barely see the yellow starting to go on. It is going to be a bright yellow as we build it. So flashing it now. And we're gonna add another coat. 